How you doing, guys? Uh, I'm the Beer Devil. Welcome to my channel. So today's fun is uh, we're gonna witness an interaction between Ask Yourself, aka Isaac Brown, and some Canadian politician. I know, exciting, right? I would say this is going to be a short video. Ah, it's not going to be a short video, but I'm limiting my time so that it, this may be done in parts. Uh, the video in question, the, the live stream was an hour long, so you can only imagine how fucking long that's going to take me to go through this shit. Uh, I may skip through some, I may skip or fast forward or do something, anything to, to shorten this time as much as possible, but I have a funny feeling I'm gonna fucking say some shit and continuously say some shit. Alright, we all know I don't like Isaac. Okay? Not a... Uh, again, I've never hung out with a kid, so I can't say that I would ever like him, but given his persona on YouTube, uh, probably, probably would... would I, 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 I would not... I couldn't, I probably would have to walk out of the room more often than, than anything else. Uh, because if he's this frustrating in person, fuck all. Anyway, so without further ado, let's listen to Isaac. I'm, I, okay. I caught the tail end of this, sort of. I kind of got into the, to the chat stream, so I, I, I ended up not paying attention to ha anything he was fucking saying. Uh, but pretty sure he's going to repeat himself over and over and over again. Uh, the same shit. He may reword it or whatever, but he's basically going to say the same shit over and over and over again. Well, let's find out. I have no idea. Alrighty then. Do 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 do. Hey guys. All right, so I'm here with Tim Moen, uh, the leader of the Libertarian Party of Canada. So we have a, a mutual supporter. In fact, Tim, I'll let you tell the story hey of how this came All right, about. So I'm here Whoa, with Tim one Moen, second. Uh, the leader of the Libertarian. Sorry, that's my own video playing in the background. Uh, yeah, so we have a mutual supporter who this who kind of made this happen. You can uh, describe how it came about. Yeah, I mean, this could be described as the Jesse Nickel podcast. He's the uh, catalyst for this. Uh, Jesse reached out to me, you know, I, I, I switched to a keto diet uh, early this year and, you know, I was posting all these pictures of my nice juicy steaks and uh, Jesse didn't is, had, seem to take issue with that, that was was putting up all these uh, links to veganism and trying to convince me that vegan is the way to go. And uh, he started sending me messages that I need to have a debate with uh, you. And uh, I, I, I'm a busy guy. So I said, well, I think. I have some, I might be, my schedule might be open in August, um, hoping maybe that I could get him to kind of leave me alone. But no, he kept on me, kept <laughs> on me and said, you got to have this. You <laughs> said you would. And so I'm. All right. I'm going to have to get this. This is, this is, let's, let's, let's see if we can fast forward this, shall we? Because it's killing me here. Uh, at least that much. Let's see if it works. I'm living up to my agreement with Jesse. And so, uh, like I was telling you just before we hopped on, I don't know all that much about veganism, about the uh, maybe the moral uh, claims of veganism. Um, and so I'm mainly here, I guess, to learn. I, I certainly have no um, qualms with it. I'm, I'm definitely not here to destroy you in a debate or anything like that because I just don't have any strong beliefs one way or another. Um, so who knows? Maybe you can convince me to be a vegan here. But uh, I, I guess this to me is more of a conversation. Um, and maybe see if we have any areas of disagreement and, and how you work through those uh, areas and that sort of thing. Oh, oh, I'll work through them by shaming you and yelling at you and, and perfect. Not yeah. So, well, and I'll say right off the bat, the main thing I do is ethics. So if you want to get into the health stuff, talking about keto, talking about what, what diet is optimal, you'd want to talk to uh, probably vegan gains. I'm sure. I just don't like them. <laughs> just y'all can talk. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Is it ad hom? No, I don't, I don't like him. I don't uh... sure that he would sure. be probably happy to clear time for you. Um, yeah, so I guess on the ethics, the case is pretty straightforward. So I just make the argument from... Now, here's the thing. He's going to present... I, 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 before he ever starts, 
I can just put it out there. He is going to sit there and do... Uh, he's not going to present the argument from his, from his uh, perspective. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. He's basically going to boil down to, if you believe... I want to say, if he starts out with, if you believe... Uh, you know, the whole, if you believe in human moral value, then go vegan. The end result is vegan, right? We all know he's going to say this. I want to see if he says, I believe this, do you disagree or agree with this? I want, I'm wondering if he, if he says, I believe this. I don't know. I've seen a few of the debates. I don't necessarily know. I can't remember off the top of my head whether or not he actually does say, come out and say, well, this is how I believe. You know, I believe it is, but it's, it's usually he poses it as kind of a question. From logical consistency, basically. So, as a starting position, you support basic human Ethics doesn't necessarily... Uh, no. Human rights. I, I assume that you do not think it's okay to murder someone. In fact, you're a libertarian. You probably have yeah. believe in like the NAP or something close to that. Sure, yeah. Yeah, okay, so... I would basically just frame it as a question to you. What Told you. Told you. Fucking called it. What is it that's true of animals that if true of humans would justify not extending the NAP to them? What is it that is true of animals that is not true of humans? That if true of humans... Oh, that if true of humans... Make it okay to deny them the NAP deny humans the NAP. Oh, that's a very good way of uh, looking at it. Um, well, uh, certainly if... Do you see what happened there, right, guys? Right? He He's not... It, it's, a, it's... Okay. Let me break it down. <clears throat> this guy right here, the Libertarian Party guy, right? Whatever. He said, basically, he, he's doing the kind of like, eh, Give me your best argument. Give me your, 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 you know, give me something. You might change my mind. Right? Isaac isn't giving an argument necessarily for veganism. He, he, he switched it. If you noticed, that's all he did. He just, real quick, turned the tables. Now, Isaac doesn't have to actually give any argument for veganism, he'll sit there and simply attack this guy's point of view. Right? That's it. Isaac could have said, hey, I believe in this, this, and this. What do you think about that? He doesn't do that. You know? Well, I mean, so far. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Isaac will actually present an argument for veganism. I don't think so, but we'll find out. Humans attack another human. Uh, mm -hmm. That uh, that would extend. So, so if you were a human that didn't abide by the non-aggression principle, to me, you have kind of given up your right to uh, say aggression can't be used against me. Um, mm -hmm. It would something like estoppel, right? So um, you can't make an argument that I can't use aggression against you if you're using aggression against other people. So that would be one thing, I guess. Um, well, I'll hit that one before you proceed. So sure. that we have total agreement on. So the problem with that argument that were used for eating animals is that the animals we're eating aren't attacking us. Sure, right. So, so I would agree with you. Like if, if a bear attacks you, fuck that bear up 100%. But a cow isn't attacking you, a chicken isn't attacking you. So it wouldn't apply in the context of, of justifying basically anything we're eating. Right. Except except you see there's always an exception to these things there's always an exception to these things uh, in particular you know as far as the non-aggression principle if one ends up adhering to it meaning that you uh, a true pacifist which is an interesting concept it would be I guess an almost anyway uh, then that individual um, would if they if they were you know absolutely like they 100% have no 
reason, even if aggression is put upon them, to turn around and then, you know, reciprocate that, that aggression, uh, that, that harm. Doesn't necessarily, uh, an individual could say, no, I didn't even do it that far. I'm not saying that's necessarily a good thing, but, you know, just because um, if you, just because someone is aggressive or, you know, has, does an act of aggression towards you doesn't necessarily mean that if you believe, it doesn't mean you have to reciprocate, you know. If you choose to reciprocate, sure, you might find the justification, but would it, in your own moral system, would that justification be enough? Or would it be just an exception? You know, it's one of those those kind of things. These are all well and good in theory, but whenever you start really looking at it from from a, a more of a pragmatic look, you know, view, then it starts to become a little muddy. But whatever. Right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you can try to name off some others, but um, I'll, I'll sort of I'll come back with a bit after that. You can try some more if you have some other uh, potential separating factors that would make it okay to deny the NAP to humans if it were true of humans. I know one that Isaac full, full well supports. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll touch base on that. Right. Okay, but, but couldn't you also extend that line of thinking to plants or something like that, or uh, bugs, or... I mean, I, you must draw a line somewhere, because you're oh, a living I... creature. Now the guy... I, I... I'll hand it to the politician. He went straight for it. Now, I'm going to predict, just going to say it, he's going to sit there and say sentience, right? Or low level. Now, here the guy asks the question. Now, I want to see if Isaac actually answers it. Creatures, so you have to eat other living creatures, unless I understand there's a branch of veganism that only eats uh, stuff after it's dead, like nuts have fallen off the tree you can eat it but if it's still on the tree you can't pick it off or something like that <laughs> well so, if, if, i'm not aware of that if that's a oh, thing. okay well i can't remember what it's called but basically my understanding is these these people would never kill don't want to kill any living thing including plants and so they go around scavenging for plants that have already died a natural death i guess and yeah <laughs> and, well that that's and eat that but that's so why, why but why wouldn't you uh fall into that branch i mean well i i can tell you perfectly so the reason there is that I actually can name the separating factor that if true of humans would justify uh, denying them the NAP. That's a complaint. <laughs> Think about that for a moment, guys. He's about to tell you. So, and this is this is where, and this is pretty fucking early on. It's only five minutes in. All right. One, he's going to name sentience, guaranteed. Right, as if that's the only factor. But here's the whole thing: the non-aggressive pack, non-aggression pack. Right? Okay. <clears throat> He's basically going to say that there is at least one subgroup of human beings in which it would be perfectly fine to walk up to them, take out a knife, and slit their throats. He's good. I mean. Like it or not, that's pretty much what he's going to sit there and say. He may pretty it up. He may ch he may do whatever. But in the end, that is what he's saying. He's saying it's perfectly fine to do that. Right? He would deny, apparently, some humans some kind of right. Or the the that whole uh, what is it? Uh, the way he defines moral value is the right not to be uh, the right not to be uh, needlessly stabbed. To death or stabbed to death or whatever um, to not be raped or sexually violated in some form or another uh, tortured or exploited in some manner right <clears throat> that's pretty much what how he kind of puts moral value like that's that's a that is the the uh, expression of moral value right these negative rights now he's about to sit there and deny those negative rights to a subset of human beings based off of either happenstance meaning accident or you know or in some cases say if someone was uh, deliberately uh, 
you know, harmed in such a way where their their brain no longer functions, right? Or they were they were it's a birth defect, meaning they were born in such a way where they have no cognitive abilities. They have no no nothing, you know, like uh, infants that are born without a brain, right? Now these are individuals that aren't necessarily hooked up to any machines, and they, they, they go, oh, it's the brain dead people, you can just put a plug, you pull a plug, it's okay. But that's not really what, that's, that, that's not the whole of non-sentient human beings. Um, there's a, obviously a wide variety, depending on <clears throat> what happens. But in the end, you could have individuals who are for the la for very much alive, they, they have spontaneous heartbeats, they breathe on their own, um, you know, they have, you know, the digest, everything, everything works, just there's no, there's nothing there, there's no, there's no consciousness, there's no, no sentience, you know, most of the time they don't feel pain, and I mean, in all honesty, you can't feel it if you don't know it exists, that kind of thing, so they have no, object, you know, they have no, uh, subject, they're not able to experience the subjective reality, they don't experience anything, you know, the lights are off, no one's home, but, you know, the plumbing still works, however you want to look at it. So, uh, he's about to sit there and say, hey, it's absolutely fantastic, you can just go over there and just stab him in the fucking heart. Go ahead. Alright? He's probably going to quantify it. And, change, and not quite, and not make it so, you know, so, uh, the way I just put it. <laughs> He'll... He'll pretty it up in some way, shape, fashion, or form. Complete lack of consciousness. Do you have a problem with unplugging a brain dead person? See? Knew no. it. Knew it. Motherfucker knew it. Knew it. Fucking piece of shit. Dude. Not you. Not you, guy. You're, you're, you're cool. Uh, that little bucktard. Isaac. Moron. Please pay attention. When you go, well, you don't have any problem plugging, unplugging somebody. Yes. Here's the thing. Um, we're not talking about just unplugging someone. See, you, you, you're, you're nicing it up a bit. You're like, oh, it's you're minimalizing it. You're trying to find the, mo the least possible objectionable thing about it. That fucking isn't even the thing, is it? You won't make the comparison that, oh, you know, it's okay if, you know, like, you know, like, dude, say it. Say it. it's all right to sit there and slit their throats. Be honest. You make the argument for animals. Make that same argument in reverse about uh, human beings that are not sentient. Go ahead. I want to hear that. I want to hear it out of your fucking face. Say it, motherfucker. Just go, hey, it's okay. Stick them all in a box. And forever. Just la 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 la. Slice, slice, slice. Take those poor little babies. Grab them by the fucking hair. Pull their fucking neck their head back and slit their fucking throats. That's what you're really saying. Pull the plug. Fuck you. No, so I would say if the thing is not conscious, then we don't have to. If the thing. Now I know he's <laughs> I, know, I know what he's saying. <clears throat> when he goes, if the thing. Now mind you, the thing He's trying to say, oh, it's just like a rock. It's just like a rock. Uh huh. Again, fuck you. I have to worry about it. So I'm not concerned with giving moral value to things just based Well, I, I would qualify that with if, sure. if there was no hope, right? So, of course. Um, there, there's the argument, I guess it's kind of a marginal argument that, um, you know, kids aren't volitional beings. They're not rational. They're developing their rationality, but they have the capacity to. In the, at some point in the future be rational rights-bearing creatures and so you know it's our obligation i think to to protect them and and to uh, develop their rational faculty so if, if this person had if there was absolutely no hope yeah it would but yeah. if, if there was some glimmer of hope i would say um there's some obligation maybe to to not unplug the person um okay. now most people feel this way i mean a good many people it's very very hard to let go of, of a loved one right and if there is that whole, you know, there's a percentage chance. Oh, they may, they may, they may. But again, he's using 
the least invasive form of this argument. He's sitting here saying, "Hey, so would you really mind if we unplug the the the, the brain dead person who, if you unplug them, their body would just stop?" That's what he's doing. You know. That's it. He's 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 minimalized it to the point where it's oh see it's so innocuous. It's okay. Motherfucker I wanna hear God fucking say it. I, I wanna hear you in a video, something. I wanna hear you say, hey, it's fucking okay to slit the throat of human children who just happen to be born with a birth defect. Once you say it's all right to put a fucking bullet in the heart of some poor bastard who, I don't know, for some reason or another, maybe it was an accident, maybe some shit, where, his, where everything is working except they don't got a brain going on. I want to hear you say, I mean, literally, like, hey, and even still, even still, if a person was brain dead and the chances of them staying alive after you unplug it, then, okay, fine, all right. Pulling the plug is an innocuous thing. It takes doctor, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not an instantaneous process. They have to go through a bit of time to, to there, there's actual criteria for this. But even beyond that, imagine some asshole Walking into the fucking uh, hospital room, taking a fucking knife and slitting the the the, uh, the comatose uh, person's throat. Remember, needless, needed. Yeah, you're not making much of an argument, motherfucker. You're sitting there going, "Oh, it's okay. Unplug. You can just unplug." Yeah, okay. You can unplug it. If I sit there and somebody comes in and shoots the fucking person. People are going to have it, take issue with that. It's one thing to unplug. It's another thing to outright murder. And no, you can't murder a, a, a comatose person. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. I've already had a discussion with, with a vegan on the word murder. <laughs> so, no offense, but... Yeah, Mufius, you know what I'm talking about if you, if you hear this. Uh, yeah, we went over the word murder, didn't we? Yeah, that means you can pretty much you can murder a human being. You can murder a lot of things. Apparently, you can murder plants, at least according to Mufius. <laughs> Gotta don't don't argue with me with the word murder. It's not gonna help you at all. I'm just you're just gonna end up walking away. Just literally, I'll take all the fun out of that one. So, <laughs> but yeah, he's sitting there saying that one. Pulling the plug, eventually, yeah, you you, you are going to have to pull the plug. That, and if the person passes away, the person passes away. If they don't, oh, what do you do then? No brain activity, but the body still, but the, but the person is still alive. Yeah, you think it would be okay to, to walk to to slit their throat? Probably not. But if you're gonna, but you're gonna sit there and you're arguing that it's okay. Don't fucking pretty it up, you little fucker. Be honest with the motherfucker. Be honest. Right. But I, I would say that's a perfect analogy. Analogizing a child who is not yet fully rational, uh, but will be or has some significant potential of being in the future with a brain dead person who is not currently sentient, but has some significant potential of being in the future. We could talk about, I mean, there's a gray area. What exactly is the threshold? Is it, you know, 99% uncertainty? Is it 99.99? But it's not a fucking gray area. And you can't make that distinction. That's the point. This happens on a daily basis. This happens in hospitals on a daily basis. There's no, it's a gray area. Anytime that, that Isaac comes into a position where it's, it doesn't quite align with what he, what he overall, the overarching argument that he makes, it's suddenly a gray area. It's not. It's really not a gray area at all. Which is one of the reasons why, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. In most, if not all, developed nations, 
um, we extend moral, well, ethical value, moral value, whatever. It's unethical to murder a comatose patient and or an individual, in, well, an individual who is not sentient. Such as, you know, those little babies that are born without brains. Yeah, yep, yeah, still, they don't, they don't operate, they, they don't remove organs from them. That's another thing. These extend even to things like that. Uh, you know, it takes quite a bit and a fuck ton of criteria for an individual to become a donor, you know, to end up be donating organs. Once the fucking plug has been pulled and it has been verified that the person is dead. Not just brain dead, but dead. All right. Once they've determined that, they do have a tendency to hook the body back up to keep the blood pumping, things like that, so that the organs stay fresh. Uh, but the, it's, at that point, it's pretty much it is its body and its parts. Okay, fine. At that point. Not beforehand. So you sitting there going, it's a gray area. I'm sorry. It really isn't. Uh, and you're you can you can go ahead and have that debate with uh, any uh, with a uh, transplant uh, uh, doctor. Go ahead, or a doctor that specializes in, in uh, organ transplants. Uh, you can you can have that particular. They've had the arguments. They've had they've had this discussion. It's been a debate. It's not really much of a debate anymore. I tried looking it up. There really isn't much uh, in the realm of uh, questions anymore about. So they don't go uh, cutting open babies who, who, who aren't sentient. They don't go cutting open other human beings in similar conditions. And they don't do that to comatose patients. Uh, the person has to be dead. Like, literally, in all way, shape, fashion, and form, dead. There's a definite surety on that one. The general principle there is when we are certain to a sufficient degree that this person is not coming back that like there's there's just no hope at that point we'd say okay no no nap they're not a conscious being they're never going to be a conscious being dundee sure non-aggression pact or principle whatever the fuck it is um pulling the plug doesn't violate that <laughs> um but what you're suggesting is that, hey, once they've gotten to that point, fuck it, you can sit there and use them as target practice. Or, hey, lunch. I mean, it's vegan, right? It's not sentient. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll go into a discussion about vegan cannibals later on uh, in a different video. <laughs> I just, it's, yeah, Whoa, here we go fair on that we yeah. yeah 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 and i mean we, we could also add in there the extra kind of complexity of um whether you you, you know from libertarianism is all about uh, it's kind of an attitudinal disposition of skepticism towards moral claims about the use of force mm -hmm. and, and institutionalizing uh those claims uh as well right and so um you know we our conception of rights is one of negative rights like you you will leave you, you have a right to be left alone essentially uh, now I'm betting money that that Isaac equates that to the moral value. His 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 viewpoint as far as moral value. Say uh, so exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's that's yeah, yeah. Watch. Uh, but no one else has an obligation to um, to do things for you or to provide you with things necessarily. So you could make an argument um, that 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 there's no, that the person lying there on life support. Uh, doesn't necessarily that, that no one has an obligation necessarily to provide them the means of life unless they've taken on a freely chosen kind of positive op nah, internet <clears throat> obligation in other words I'm a healthcare provider this isn't me well I guess it is me it's I, I'm taking on a duty, a positive obligation to the people. All right. 
Let's refresh. La 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 la. Want to make sure my audio is crisp and clean. Anyway, while we're waiting for this, <laughs> gotta love, gotta love that shit, right? I wanna, I, I want you to kind of understand something. Um, when when Isaac. And I, and I may just stop it right here for now uh, and make it part part two later on. It's already been like half an hour. All right. <clears throat> so what have we learned so far? Right? We've learned that, you know, there is at least one trait or one circumstance in which humans apparently to, in the case of Isaac, and in some ways a little bit, uh, on how uh, this guy thinks it's you know <sighs> when you're Yeah, so far. I mean, pull the plug thing. You know, pull the plug though. Y yeah, the. That's not exactly what was. What should have been discussed, or at least could have been discussed. It's a matter of whether or not uh, stabbing them to death for no apparent reason. Right? non-aggression you sit there and say oh well I'll I could de I'll deny them these rights you know you that opens up a plethora of problems you can sit there and say oh it's a slippery slope blah 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 but nah I mean that's one of the reasons why physicians have been pretty much uh, debating and have have set criteria for this kind of thing and that if you that if anyone, uh, we even, obviously we have laws and we have uh, protection, equal rights, uh, you know. Now, uh, <laughs> I, I've got a question for you guys if you've made it this far, as far as the vegans are concerned. Uh, for, all the one, for all the individuals who believe in a moral hierarchy, Right. I wanna wanna pose a question to you. Give me a second. I actually have this written down. And it's a question I've asked vegans before, but okay. <clears throat> My fucking alarm. Sorry, guys. All right. Now, typically there'll be a comparison with uh, various animals and there would be a claim that uh, typically is a claim that there is uh, that you know the conscious experience between one animal and another uh, would be different uh, if they have varying levels of sentience right? so there would be a hierarchy of moral consideration hierarchy of moral value based off of sentient level. Here's the thing, you know, how do you know that there is a difference in the conscious experience between one animal or another? By what metric are you making that determination and is that mechanism possibly the actual determinant for moral, determinant for moral value? Also, what are the consequences for being of less moral value and subsequently having a diminished right to not be stabbed to death, raped, and otherwise exploited by another sentient being of, of course, higher moral value. 
Now, I've heard Isaac, uh, you know, he, he'll make the statement, there is a moral hierarchy, sure. It's based off of sentience, sure. But he'll say, that doesn't mean, or he'll sit there and say, oh, that's, that's, you know, that doesn't take away the rights of, of uh, the lesser sentient being. But here's the thing. Why have a fucking hierarchy if in the end it's irrelevant? You you present it as more or less an on-off switch. And here's the whole thing. And I know what's going to happen. Anytime I've ever asked this question, I get kind of a, a half ass answer in return. And it's usually based around the hypothetical scenario, the the, the uh, moral dilemmas, right? You know, you got a you got a kid in a room, and you got a dog in a room. The room's on fire. Who do you save? Typically, people go, "Oh, the kid." Okay, what if the kid has you? What if the kid, honestly, you you have no idea what the mental capacity of it is. It turns out. You know, what if the kid was as smart as a dog? I mean, if you take an infant and you take a full-grown dog, who are you going to save? You're going to save the infant. Why? Because of maximum well-being. How do you know that that dog isn't having, isn't experiencing the maximum amount of well-being that they could possibly experience? Or whatever. That they, their sentience is somehow diminished because of what? What would make... What, what qualifies as a diminishment in degrees in this spectrum of sentience if you're saying that one animal is more sentient than the other how are you making that determination how do you fucking know you, you don't even if you make an educated guess based off of what you can't necessarily go off brain complexity uh, because even uh, human beings who are of diminished mental capacity their brains are just as complex as another human being so you can't go off brain capacity because that or uh, brain complexity because that doesn't help you we have individuals who are of course uh, you know they have diminished mental capacity that doesn't mean anything when you look at the brains you will see some <clears throat> you might possibly see some uh, physical differences between a normal human brain and a not normal human brain obviously a, <laughs> a difference between normal and not normal right but as far as certain aspects physically you may not be able to tell the difference between someone who is literally you know, as as Isaac would put it, a retard, and someone who is a fully functional adult, there may not be a huge bit of difference. All right, the brains are both the brains are still complex and more complex than most most uh, animals. Okay, but you really can't go off of that either because you have animals who have brains that are more complex than ours. Uh, you know, cue the the aquatic. Uh, Many of the aquatic, uh, the dolphins and, and whales, the, the porpoises. Well, whales, I, yeah, yeah. Huge brains, massively complex. Much more so than ours. The only problem is they're in, the, they're in a body that, <laughs> that, that that complexity is sort of useless. You know? So you can't really go off of that. So if that's the case, then then no offense, but that means that whales and dolphins rank higher than humans as far as moral value would be concerned. But they're not put up on the top, are they? Nah, they're below us, right? Because that's not... <laughs> <clears throat> But in the end, if if the actual amount of sentience doesn't affect the moral value, in 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 reality it doesn't. Well, it doesn't whenever you start talking to vegans, because I've never had one vegan tell me what the actual consequences uh, of being lower in moral value 
what's the what's the downside to this because there has to be a downside if there's no downside then there's no reason to have a hierarchy there's no reason to create that distinction if there is no actual if the end, the end result doesn't create an inequity you get where I'm going all it is is an excuse by vegans to justify killing animals you really want to know so far that's all I've been able to to find out is basically it's just a nice excuse for them to do that that's it, it just happens to be here it's a rationality they're using it and I'll talk about like oh it's a rational no ration as in rationalization as if you're 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 not actually this is not a good term uh, you're you're sitting here saying that oh well you know they're not all equal but we have to sort of and that's the whole thing if they're not equal what are the consequences from it flat out oh and of course you can you can Honestly, you could just sit there and say, hey, it's an on-off switch. You're sentient. You have moral value. Equal moral value. Because one animal isn't any different than the other. After all, there is no trait absent in animals, which if absent in humans, we, you get it? You can't claim two things. You can't sit there and say that there's no morally significant difference and then turn around and say there is a significant difference and the difference is, of co is related to how sentient they are compared to humans or to another animal or whatever when it's an irrelevant it's in real if it i can't use it i can't sit there and say hey you know look i'm way fucking more sentient than 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 a pig i should be able to go ahead and kill it because of that that's that doesn't work for me why the fuck would it work how does that work in your favor it would work in your face. It would be better if you sat there and said that no, 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 no. All sentient life has equal right not to be stabbed to death, raped, tortured, and exploited. Because otherwise, saying that there is a hierarchy means that there would be a somehow. That means that anything below, I guess, people humans, anything below humans has a diminished right to not be murdered, etc, etc. But the vegan will sit there and say, well, no, they don't really have a diminished, there's no diminishment. Then why have the hierarchy? I'm going in circles. I'm going in circles. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <clears throat> anyway, I have been the bearded devil. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, talk shit. I don't fucking care. You know, have a fucking viewing party. This is part one. There will be more to come.